Hey guys, this is That's Now as the iPhone Guy, and uh, it's March Madness, baby. Um, now, I may sound a little disappointed because I am. Uh, my team, the Utah Utes, just got killed by Arizona State, and uh, Arizona is not even good, which really, really, really pissed me off. Uh, Utah won the Mountain West Conference Finals. Uh, we took number one. We were second seed to start out with, and you know everything was great. Everything was happy. Um, so we progressed. We thought we were going to do fine. We thought we were going to have no problem with Arizona, but we ended up having uh, a lot of problems. Um, Arizona, a lot of people didn't even think they deserved to be there, which really kind of was was true. They've uh, been the worst they've been all year since 1984, uh, then 83-84 season. So they haven't been good, but uh, you know, nonetheless. Uh, my team, Utah Utes, lost. Uh, the Y, the University of Utah, who I was also rooting for, um, they lost as well, you know. And so it just, I don't know. I wasn't very happy with the outcomes of that game. Anyway, so uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the CBS Mobile NCAA March Madness application in the App Store. It's the number one paid app. It is $4.99. And, uh, you know, it really just depends your preference. If you're that kind of person, if you love March Madness, if you love men's basketball, I mean, this is worth every penny to me. Oh, man, I don't regret this in the least. Um, it's worth just a season for me, you know. So uh, there's five tabs down here. Live games, brackets, scoreboard, highlights, and download. So brackets, you can see the current bracket. Uh, west, east, south, and midwest. Uh, my West bracket, by the way, right here, bam, 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 perfect. Uh, I have a good bracket so far. I've only lost uh, five, which, I mean, could be better, but it's pretty good. Um, you can file up at the top here by which what you want, and then it shows you Final Four, Fourth and Six, Elite Eight, 28th, 29th, Sweet 16, 26th, 27th, second round, and that's what we're in right now. Uh, so there you can see Utah, Arizona, Arizona took it jerks. Um, this is a scoreboard. I don't really see the point in this. It's just a web-based page because it really is. It's kind of in live games. Uh, you can you can do a little bit more though. Uh, so this is their website, their mobile website. Um, you can select what conference you want, Midwest, uh, East. It, it actually just does all of them here. So you can see Arizona, Utah, 81-74. Really, really terrible game. You click it. has all the stats, so that is cool. Um, of the Arizona Wildcats, you can see other uh, parts, you play by play, team stats, uh, so it's pretty cool, you know. Highlights, all right. Uh, these are cool. Uh, they're videos of highlights of these games. So uh, this was funny. Where'd it go? There we go. Tennessee State gave Pitt a little bit of a scare. Um, you won't get this screen. This is a jailbroken thing. So you'll just jump right to the video. And uh, it shows you. It goes, oh, this is a little uh, live update. It's kind of like a YouTube video, you know. It loads, renders. You can view it on Edge and or Wi-Fi and E3G. East region first round. We've got the top seed. And there you go. So it's a little video. It shows you the highlights. That was... Anyway, so, you know, uh, it, it, there's, there's nifty little features. Um, it does not offer video, live video. It offers that kind of highlight video uh, on 3G and Edge. If you want to watch a live game, you have to be on Wi-Fi. Or you can listen to the live game in audio, which is like a radio broadcast over 3G or Edge. But uh, only on Wi-Fi can you receive streaming video. Okay, so these are the four games that are currently being played right now. Uh, we want to watch the Wake Forest Cleveland game because a Wake Forest is going to kill Cleveland State. Um, sorry to say, it's just true. They're ranked fourth. Uh, Cleveland State's 13th. Anyway, so uh, you can push watch live, and there you go. Uh, it tells you what's going on before you launch it, so 131 in the first half that's left, and uh, you start screaming, streaming <laughs> uh, live in-game audio. Now, I have the sound switch on. There you go. So as you can see, it is a little bit laggy. You know, you could. It's actually really, really smooth for what I'm concerned. Uh, there is a little bit where it has to render there because this is live. This is by the second. Uh, Lake is six and Cleveland's fifteen. Wow, Lake's and now Don't worry, they'll catch up. Anyway, uh, so this is what goes down here. It's the legitimate. Uh, CBS channel. It's being streamed to your phone. This is cool, you know. This is very useful when you're in a cafe or when you're in a hotel room and you don't have 
uh, TV with this or whatever, you can just pop it open and you can watch a game. I mean, granted, it's not, it's very pixelized. It doesn't look very high quality, but, uh, you know, it's suitable. It is, it's bearable. Um, I, you know, I actually don't really have a problem with it. It isn't great, but it's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, In-game audio is great. And uh, there you go, you know. So you can uh, minimize the game, make it smaller so you can bear the uh, view of them a little bit more. You can view the stats while the game is going. That is very, very cool. Um, you can browse the other games that are going on. So if I want to flip to the... Uh, Florida State Wisconsin game. There you go. Oh, it's the commercial, so we're gonna browse another game. So you can pop in between in and out of games. I really, really, really like that feature. Ohio State, uh, Siena. There you go. You know, very, very neat feature. I really, really like the channel flipping, the browsing games, and then uh, you can go. Oh, timeout's probably over. I jump back to the. Oops, sorry. Wait for us, Cleveland game. And there you go. You know. You're playing. Sick. That's really, really cool. Um, so I really, really like that. It's really, really kind of nifty, uh, if you ask me. Uh, the interface is very slick. You know, it's very simple, very easy to use. And, uh, I mean, that's that. I have to use safe mode when I use this app when I'm jailbroken. If, you're, if you don't have a jailbroken phone, you don't have to worry about this. But I had to get into safe mode because uh, it, whoa, what I just launched. Topple 2, maybe. Because uh, it was giving me problems. But, uh... Yeah, that's it. I'm going to show you my bracket here, and uh, then we are going to get get leaving. I'm going to do something tonight, because I do have a life, despite what you may think. And uh, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the show. And uh, enjoy your March Madness. So this is where I really screwed up. Um, Louisville, they took it. Ohio State hasn't played yet. Utah, they lost. Wake Forest, they won. West Virginia, they lost. Kansas, they won. Uh, Boston College, they lost. Michigan hasn't played yet. Uh, yep, I got every single one of these right. That's right. Read it and weep. Uh, Memphis, Maryland. <coughs> Missouri, Marquette. Uh, Washington, Purdue, Texas A&M, Connecticut. And then uh, this is how it goes. Uh, uh, Connecticut, Washington, Missouri, Memphis, Memphis, Connecticut, Memphis. And then uh, they play Louisville, which takes it all the way up to the top, and then I put Louisville takes it, and not Pittsburgh, because I hate Pittsburgh, and uh, there we go, so Pittsburgh, got that right, Oklahoma State, got that right, Florida State, haven't played yet, Xavier, yes, UCLA, yes, Villanova, yes, Texas, yes, Duke, yes, uh, North Cal, yes, Gonzaga, yes, Arizona, yes, Syracuse, yes, Oklahoma, yes, Oklahoma, Arizona, Kansas, North Cal, Duke, Villanova, Xavier, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Villanova, Pittsburgh, um, North Cal, Gonzaga, um, hello, Arizona, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, North Cal, Oklahoma takes it out, and there we go, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh plays Louisville, and Louisville takes it. That's my thing, uh, we'll do a quick, you know, a little compare brackets. If you want to put your brackets uh, below, if you want to type them out, I don't know how you do it, in your comment or whatever, you know, uh, you can also, you can email me a picture of your bracket at Quinn at that's nazzy iPhone guy .com and we'll take a day and look at all your brackets and I'll make fun of you and uh, we'll be good. So thank you all for joining me. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, uh, CBS Mobile March Madness. Uh, it's $4.99 in the App Store and you know, it's, it's a good investment if you're into basketball. So thank you and as always, Stay snazzy.